welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Sunday. I'm so excited for today's recipe. I have three fluff recipes for you. Yes, fluff. And you are going to be so happy, so happy that I created these recipes for you because they are phenomenal. These are perfect for Halloween, Thanksgiving, and even Christmas. They are low calorie, low point, and super, super versatile, kid-friendly, Troy approved, family friendly, perfect for any occasion. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I upload a five videos a week and Sunday we always do something a little fun and exciting on this channel. A little bit out of the ordinary, it changes from week to week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I've lost well over 125 pounds as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Definitely come on over and join us. We would love to have you. So let Let's jump into three fluff recipes. The first recipe we're making is caramel apple fluff. This sounds absolutely amazing. After we make all three recipes, I'll share with you some ideas of what you can dip into our fluff but let me show you what's in the caramel apple. So you can use crushed pineapple or pineapple tidbits. I went ahead and just bought the tidbits. You'll need a tub of light whipped topping. You want to make sure that it is completely thawed. Some sugar-free butterscotch pudding and a couple of apples of your choice. I decided to go with Granny Smith. So the first thing I'm going to do is peel, chop, and core my apples. So I totally forgot to tell you guys, I'm starting this video off with a bang, uh, that you're gonna need some mini marshmallows, one cup of mini marshmallows. So I have everything ready. I did weigh out eight ounces of the pineapple tidbits on my food scale. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our eight ounces of pineapple tidbits or crushed pineapple and our package of sugar-free butterscotch pudding. And then mix that together. Let that pudding coat the pineapple. Then we're going to add our chopped up apples, our one cup of mini marshmallows, and then give that another stir. You wanna get everything coated in that pudding mix. Then we're adding in the entire tub of Cool Whip. And again, you want that softened at room temperature. And then we're going to mix everything together, get everything coated really well in the Cool Whip and that butterscotch pudding mix. That's what gives us all the caramel vibes in this recipe. So here's the caramel apple fluff. This looks amazing. I'm actually going to bring this over to my neighbors. We're going over tonight for a little get together. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this into a cute little Halloween inspired bowl. So I went ahead and topped it with a few mini salted caramel chips. These are from Nut Stop and then of course, of course, we had to use one mallow pumpkin on top. This is how I'm going to bring it to my neighbors. I'm going to add some fun crackers and dipping cookies around the plate. So at the end, I'll show you what all the completed bowls look like. But this is the caramel apple fluff. Next up is pumpkin fluff. I'm really excited for this. You guys know I love pumpkin anything. So let me show you what's in our recipe. Again, you're going to need a container of light Cool Whip, a box of sugar-free vanilla pudding, some pumpkin pie spice, and a can of pumpkin puree. Make sure you're not getting pumpkin pie filling. You wanna get pumpkin puree. For this fluff recipe, it is super simple. We're going to add an entire can of pumpkin puree, our package of sugar-free pudding mix, as much pumpkin pie spice as your heart desires, I'm going to put in a good couple of tablespoons. Give that a preliminary mix. Just get that pudding and pumpkin pie spice mixed in. And then we're adding the entire tub of Cool Whip, again at room temperature. And then stir that all together. 
And here is our pumpkin pie fluff. This looks so good, it smells incredible. I'm going to go ahead and put this in another one of those cute purple bowls because I have another get together this weekend with my boot camp group. So I'm going to bring this for that get together. So let me get it in the cute purple bowl and I'll be back to show you the final product. And there is the pumpkin fluff. What I'm going to do is crush up some graham crackers on top right before I take it over to the get together so they're nice and crispy, but this looks incredible and gives me so much fall feels. And the last recipe is probably the one I'm most excited about and this is going to be candy corn fluff. This is so perfect for a Halloween party or Halloween get together, or this would be such a fun thing to do with your kids. So let me show you what's in the recipe. Again, you'll need a container of light Cool Whip, the rest of those pineapple tidbits, some mandarin oranges, no sugar added, food coloring, and of course, what candy corn fluff doesn't have candy corn. So the first thing you're going to do is pull out three bowls. We're going to divide our Cool Whip evenly in those three bowls. We're going to add yellow food coloring to one bowl, orange food coloring to the other bowl. So for orange, you're gonna need yellow and red. A Lot of yellow, little red. We just wanna create an orange color. And then go ahead and leave your third bowl white. So go ahead and mix those up. Get your Cool Whip colored the color of candy corn. So now we're going to add some goodies to our whipped topping. So into the yellow, we're going to add the rest of our pineapple. Into the orange, add in some mandarin oranges. The marshmallows are my nemesis. I forgot to tell you, we are going to add some mini marshmallows to the white. We want about a third of a cup. And then stir everything together. So to put the fluff together, we wanna to make it like a candy corn. So the bottom of the candy corn is yellow. So go ahead and add in the yellow whipped mixture. And then I like to spread that out as even as I can in the bottom of my bowl. And I would actually recommend using a clear bowl like I am, just so you can see those fun candy corn colors. And then we want to add the orange layer. And again, spread that out nice and even. Just be gentle so you don't mix it too much with the yellow. We want it to have that layered look to it. Push it really good around the edges too. And last but not least, the white layer. Spread that out on top. And then for fun, we're gonna go ahead and top it with a few pieces of candy corn. I'm gonna put one of my little pumpkins right in the middle there. Look at how adorable this is. You can see all of the layers of the candy corn, and then you top it with some fun candy. The good thing about this is there's lots of fruit in here, so your kids are getting in some fruit, or we're getting in some fruit with our yummy fluff for dessert. So quickly before I put everything together so I can show you the finished recipe, what it'll look like with all of the things to dunk, I wanted to give you three ideas of different cookies that you can pick up or crackers to dump into your fluff. So first we'll start with the candy corn fluff. My recommendation for that would definitely be vanilla wafers. I think this makes the most sense for that. It'll add that little bit of vanilla in with all the yummy sweet of the candy corn. Now of course you can use anything you want, but I think vanilla wafers is perfect for the candy corn fluff. And then for the pumpkin fluff, you have a lot of options. You could do the vanilla wafers. Also, the Partake pumpkin spice cookies would be really, really good dipped in here. And what I'm planning on doing, again, right before this is served, is I'm gonna crush up some of these cinnamon graham crackers on top, and then you could serve regular graham crackers or cinnamon graham crackers for dipping. That'll give the pumpkin spicy vibe with the cinnamon. I mean, endless opportunities with the pumpkin fluff. And then last but not least, the caramel apple fluff. Again, my recommendation would be vanilla wafers, but I mean, you could do graham crackers as well, especially if you had the regular graham crackers. You could even try the cinnamon ones or the pumpkin cookies. I mean, like I said, that's up to you what you wanna dip into it. It's such a versatile recipe, but I think what I'm going to do is actually put some cinnamon graham crackers and some vanilla wafers on my little plate here for the party. Also, I got these plates and bowls for 50 cents a piece at Walmart in the Halloween section. So great if you're going to a party and you don't wanna bring home your dishes, you can just leave them behind and not feel bad about it because they're 50 cents a piece. So here's the 
finished pumpkin fluff. So I added the Partake pumpkin cookies, cinnamon grams, and vanilla wafers. I topped it with, with a piece of a graham cracker, some candy corn, and a little pumpkin. You could also sprinkle some cinnamon on top, pumpkin pie spice, or what I think I might do is sprinkle some Halloween black, orange, white sprinkles on top as well, and then crush up some of the graham crackers right before serving. And then here's the caramel apple dip. This is going next door, and I have the cinnamon graham crackers and the vanilla wafers. This looks incredible. And then lastly, how fun is this? The candy corn fluff, and I have vanilla wafers to dip. So those are the three fluff recipes. These are so perfect for Halloween, Thanksgiving. You can even put a spin on these for Christmas. As always, all three recipes will be on my website. Thank you for joining me for today's not one, not two, but three fluff recipes. Pumpkin, candy corn, and caramel apple. What screams fall in the holidays more than that? Don't forget all three recipes are on my website, which is linked down in the description box along with nutrition coaching. Links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come on over, join my Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Halloween, friends. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.